Do you punish people? We don't believe in punishment. Okay, we believe, we use this kind of psychology. Okay. Psychology? Yes. One mistake we in our Ghanaian society we make is that we think that correcting the child means punishing the child, subjecting the child to severe pain. That will cause the child to, um, you know, change from whatever he or she was doing. But you see, that causes vengefulness. Do that your school is the best school. You may not know the interesting things that are happening in our high schools until we take time to visit and explore things that are happening in there. If you are interested in what is going to happen here, please do hit the subscribe button and let's keep exploring our schools and promote African schools together. Guys, I'm pretty sure that's the school prefects. It has, take, it has taken me a lot of time to respond to here. All right, I, I nearly told you to put your mask on, but you had already okay. done that. Thank you very much. I already have my, I always have my mask on. Wow, well done. <laughs> <laughs> We've been expecting you for so long. For sure. Yeah, Hunterman Girls Senior High School. Girls, I have heard so much about your school and I'm super ignorant about things that happen in here. Wow. And how amazing your school is. Wow. Then you've missed the eighth wonder of the world because there are seven I wonders. I've what? The eighth wonder of the world. I have heard about seven wonders of the, of, of the world and mm -hmm. I don't really know, what is that? Okay, so the seven wonders of the world are the extraordinary things that human beings were able to institute during their time on Earth. One of the most popular is the Great Wall of China. And we are trying to say that a handsome man girls is, can match up to that kind of extraordinary. So, welcome to a handsome man girls. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gosh. Please introduce yourself to me. My name is HRM. Let me break it down. Her Royal Majesty Christabel Ganza. Not every school gives these kind of titles to their prefect, but in the handsome man girls, we give these royal titles to our prefect because we live beyond the royal land. The land of the royals. So our head prefect, which is me, is addressed by the title Her Royal Majesty. My three deputies are addressed by the title Her Royal Highness. And my other prefects are addressed by the title Her Royal Lady. It is not done anywhere with the exception of a handsome and girls. Wait, so in this school, mm -hmm. everybody addresses you in that manner? Yes, everybody addresses me in the title HRM. And I can see it on your uniform, yeah. so it's true. HRM Christabel Ganza. Amazing. Christabel. Yes, please. No, not Christabel. HRM. Her Royal much. Majesty. Yes, thank you very much. Please, who is this? Who, who is this? Okay, come, come and have a closer look. This is Mr. E.K. Aiden, the first headmaster of a Hunterman Girls Senior High School at a time where the school was called Rokoko. So a Hunterman Girls the school, school was called what? Rokoko. Royal Commercial College. Initially, it wasn't a girls' school, but later, you know, due to evolution, a handsome girls has been to this point. Now, it was called Royal Commercial College, first instituted by Mr. E.K. Aiden, donated by our dear old students' association. Now, let me tell you one thing about our old students. They are very, 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 very supportive. If you look at our summer hats, it was by our old students. Every single air conditioning, uh, machine in our office was donated by our old students. Are, are you so serious? I am very, very serious. Our school has the best, the best old student association ever. And wherever you go, whichever university you go to, you can find Ahosa, Ahosa, Ahosa everywhere. Ahosa, Ahosa. is like everywhere. So Ahosa, Ahosa is a hunter man. Old student students. association. I and see. we are very unique, you know. Do you know why? Because we are the only girls' school who have a male backup as part of our old student association because we used to have boys as part of us and it initially evolved into a girls school so now we have boys sorry men and women as being part of our old administration as, yeah administration and you know two heads are better than one right so we have two sexes part of our old student association it's perfect it makes us unique so when actually was this school built this school was built in 1948 so you can see how old it is one of the older schools in Ghana yeah and ever since it became a girls school since 2010 we've been marking higher we've been reaching higher peaks higher peaks higher peaks higher peaks in every aspect when See, it, it, Christopher wait you you sound so confident about yes, your school yes but I know of other schools, I have heard about other schools okay. who are actually like when you hear the name and all that I don't want to mention names all right don't you think there are other schools in this country that can match your school boot for boot and even even put your school down. Mr. Gosh, listen. There are only two schools in this world. A handsome and girls and the rest. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs>
that's the fact. That's the fact. You see, most people don't want to accept the truth, and the truth is very bitter. But we have to learn to accept. A handsome girl's senior high school is the best. Within just ten years of being a girl's school, we have had so many achievements, and it can't compare with other schools who have been around for ages. No, it can't. With just ten years. Look at debates. I represented my school in this annual debate competition against all Western regional schools and we're first. Look at the drama club. Our drama club. So you have a drama club over here? We have a serious drama club. It's I not just a drama, it's a serious, serious drama club. One. In fact, I don't think any other school can compare to our drama club. Listen, our drama club is headed by one of the most, one of the most, let me tell you, let me, let me emphasize, one of the most highly acclaimed playwrights in Ghana. Who is the, the person of Mr. Daniel Apreku? He has written so many plays. <laughs> so many plays. And they are popular. So if you have someone here like that in our drama club, <laughs> we don't have any problem and no school can come close to us. In fact, our beginning and our end, there's no school there. There's no school. We are totally the best, like the best of the best. So who is your current head? It's you a headmistress. It's a headmistress. Yeah. What's her name? Her name is Miss Ernestina Kankam. Miss Ernestina can come. She's like the best headmistress ever. I don't know. I don't know if other headmistresses do, but I believe that God has blessed her with so much wisdom that sometimes I feel like no other school can compare with our headmistress. She's the best. Is she around? She's around. But first of all, first of all, I would like you to I want to take you to my class, Anatoman Girls. Oh, our classrooms they are the best. They are like the best. You see, one time ago, I mentioned the schools. I went on the browser and I searched for classrooms of various schools, so called big, big schools. Let me put on my lens. Okay. okay. The schools, their classrooms, the oh outer, the outer region was so nice, so attractive. And when I zoomed inside, nothing to write them about. But let me show you just one. You see, we are the only school with classrooms that have carpets. Let me show you. Come. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you see, when you come to a hunting and girls and you meet a perfect and you have the privilege of meeting the royal majesty herself, you don't even need to see the headmistress. You've gone through the process and you see in a hunting and girls, we have the most highly elevated perfect. And I in all the schools across the country? All the schools. Our perfect are the most elevated. No other school can compare to our perfect. When you come to hunting and girls and you see a perfect, you see a perfect. I saw how you were being treated over here, like yeah. the way people were talking to you, and I was yeah. like, well, who is this person? Mm -hmm. Until somebody drew my attention and said, she's the school prefect. Okay, so you've seen for yourself, you see, ladies are seen and not heard. That's our number one mantra here. So we live in that, and then we always work towards that. So when you come, the environment will speak for itself. No, there, there, are people, there are people who are, are like the basic school, mm -hmm. the people who mm -hmm. are writing B, C. Mm -hmm. Can you confidently say, that if they're thinking of choosing a school, they should choose a hunter man. So let me tell you one thing. When you look at our aristocratic society. Yeah, your what? Our aristocratic society, that's the rich society. Okay. When you look at their children. You see, they're not really the social media types. You don't see them out there. Always hey there, hey they're taking pictures here. They are there and then just one day they just release them. And then you see them, just a glance. So they make, it makes them so unique and so special. That's how our handsome young girls we are. See, we don't come out that much because of the kind of treasures we have here. Treasures are a limited resource, and a handsome young girls is a limited resource. The things we have here, it can't compare to any other school. So, BEC candidates, I'm telling you, if you want a senior high school to attend, don't look anywhere. Just choose a handsome young girls first choice. Listen, the things we have here. I don't need to talk much, you know. I don't need to talk much. <laughs> Guys, I'm so amazed. What are the questions I want to ask? I'm and, you see, and you see, it's not just that. Our academic performance. I will let you meet the quiz girls and just ask them a question. You see, within just a matter of three seconds, they've tapped and answered. But every single regional contest, um, friendly contest we attend, we are able to come out successfully. And you see, our name is going higher, higher, higher as a haven for academic excellence. So you can, you, you see, you see, please uh, you for uh, my classroom, see, the best classroom. What, what, where is it? Come here, come here. See, we are the only school with classrooms that have carpets. Carpets, no other school, okay? Come, come and have a look. Guys, I'm so amazed. I am so, so amazed. All the things I want to ask, I'm, I'm not able to ask them. Sisters, so please, get to me. I don't know what's happening. Good afternoon, ladies. All right. 
thank you so much. So today I'm here with High Schools Africa and you've come to one of our classrooms. Which is, this is three times one, right? Yeah. You are the explicit, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, so down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you. So I have your permission, right? Okay, so look at just look at, have a look at our classroom. Four fans just for a class, and this is not the only class, okay? Look at our wide, our wide board. Wide board. Wide board. What's your name? Bodina Ishen. Bodina Ishen. Yeah. Yeah, and you are? Amazing. Guys, if you watch the National Science and Math Quiz, I'm pretty sure you saw them. These amazing girls are in this classroom, and they are from here at the Hantaman Girls. Like, I am so amazed. I have so many, but she's overshadowing me. I don't know what to do again. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. What other thing can you show me? You have right. prefect, um, right? How many prefect do you have? Class prefect, can you give us a wave? Our honorable class prefect, Hi, Barbara. Class prefect. Barbara <laughs> Dukumenta, can you? All right, hello. <laughs> so I'll take you to our pre prefect. We have the, this is the class with the most prefects. Wow. Yeah. The, the executives. The executives, yeah. Can you stand up so that they see your number? Just stand up. Wow, we have all the main perfect. We have main chaplain perfect, main head girl, green shark. We are all in this class. This wow. is like the most explicit class, the most decorated class in the hunting and girls. I see. We have the head choristers here, everything. I see. Yeah, and the best classrooms as well. Not just this class, every class on this block is carpeted with fans, nicely painted, large white boards. Everything, everything you can boast of, and the best quality. I initially told you that the best playwrights currently in Ghana is Mr. Vance Africa, and he's here. I have actually heard so much about you and the amazing things you're doing here on this campus. It's actually like I've seen a couple of um, works of you on social media and all that. I didn't know you were in this school. Oh, okay, yes, this is where I work actually. Yes, I'm a teacher here. And she is telling me her school has the best drama club. How true is that? That's very true. <laughs> um, I should say it's the best in Ghana so far. When you talk about high school drama, yes, no other school can beat a high school girls, guys. And that is just true. The drama. Is there anything you need that you wish the old student can come in and support? Yes, of course. Um, producing plays come with a lot of, you know, um, responsibilities or duties. You know, production house has a lot of offices. You will need lights, you need cameras, you need uh, um, a lot of machines when it comes to sound. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so lapel microphones, all those things. And the brain theater has. I see. Them. Yes, yeah. I know. So I know about that. YouTube, you sure. see us and then you can enjoy some of our plays online. Amazing. Yeah. HRM. Yes, please. I just spotted this thing. This lawn. Jubilee yes. Lawn. What is that? Okay, so you know, Hunting Run Girls. Every lawn is allocated to a house. We believe in beautifying the environment with nature. So every house, this is Jubilee House, for example, and this is the lawn that has been allocated to them. Every house has a lawn, so this is how we do it. So that to make people interested in agriculture and also making, in, putting in their own initiatives. Because you know, nowadays there are no jobs around. And agriculture is a really, really, really growing sector. That's brings in a lot of income. So when we inculcate that in the student's body, they learn and then they go out with it. So that is why we allocate plots, um, lawns to every house on campus. Yeah. So is it a house that takes care of the lawn? The house, yeah. This is Jubilee House, so Jubilee Lawn. So they water it, they, they water it. Over here. Yeah, everything. Oh, so you can see, this is very, very spacious. Like, very, very spacious. This is our administrator's car park. I don't think other schools have this specific. Oh yes, it's true. I had to know girls. I don't know. Are you marking other schools? Okay, fine. I won't bring in other schools if that's what you want. But my school can boast of a parking lot for administrators. Yeah, it's the best. Like it's the best. And then look over there, our mission statement and our core values. So you can read to create a vision statement. You see, every institution must have a vision. Without a vision, you can't work towards achieving a, an attain, a goal you have implemented or something that you have put in place. So in Hunter and Girls, we have a vision statement and we have a mission statement. We have something that we have targeted and we have values that are, is going to be inculcated in the student's body that is going to help us work towards whatever that we have planned. Do you think that those values work in this school? Very, very, very much. Just take love for one another. You see, in situations whereby uh, a sister, we call each other sisters. A sister is in need. You will never find 
anybody mocking her or selling her out, spreading pathetic rumors. It's never the enhancement girls. It's a no-no. Enhancement girls, when you realize your sister is in need, you quickly rush to her aid. And it's, it's a norm everywhere. So we don't call ourselves by our names. We call her sister. Sister this, sister that. Even if you are a, a senior calling a junior, you call her by sister because she's really? your little sister. Really? Yes, that, really? that, that, that's an enhancement girl. Really? Yes. Everybody here, we are all considered as siblings. You see the kind of head and stress we have. She inculcates that spirit of love in us. So we love each other like we've known each other for ages. So when you come here, that's the norm. That is the serious norm here. A spirit decops. We love teammates. Just look, look at them. You see, one person will never go unless everybody goes together with them. They are carrying chairs, all right. Look at them, they are carrying chairs. That's why you don't allow certain things, like making of phone calls, anyhow, you know, bringing in phones. It's not allowed, even in the GES um, rules and regulations. We are not allowed to indulge in certain um, acts of sexual immorality. We are not allowed to disrespect our elders. So because of this core value, we know and then we understand the essence of being morally upright. That is why we don't inculcate certain habits, such as bringing of phones. As students, we need to concentrate on our books. So every enhancement girl, girl knows that it is a norm. When you're coming to school, you're coming to study. No phones, no chatting, nothing. There are phone booths here, and these phone booths have been allocated. This you can this place that oh shoot, it's not pasted. Okay. We've been allocated days for every form. Every day, you can go there and make a phone call. So these phone booths, they work? They work totally well. I can even make a phone call right now, if you want to see. Okay. Yeah, they work. They are totally perfect. And these things help to, you know, create a very serene atmosphere for our students here in Enhancement Girls. And so you don't just come here for the academic purposes, but you live here as a complete individual, mind, body, spirit, soul, everything. Perfect. What I'm seeing so far is just amazing and I love this school already. Yeah, so you see, if you meet a prefect, you've automatically met school authorities. That's Bef how it works yeah, over here. that's how it works over here. Before your case gets up there, then that means you've passed through, I don't know how to say, a series of water purification processes before you had gotten there. Really? Yes. Once you meet a prefect, Do you punish people. We don't believe in punishment. Okay, we believe, we use this kind of psychology. Okay. Psychology? Yes. You see, we are girls. Girls are very sensitive to little, little, little issues. Threaten their reputation and they'll change. They don't believe in punishment. You see, punishing them continuously hardens them. And the more you harden them, the more they grow used to it. It's like an adaptation. So, next time you punish me, I don't care, I'm going to read. I've read it, I've read it, I've read it, I'm used to it. So what else can you do to me? But you see, approach them. You see, one mistake we in our Ghanaian society we make is that we think that correcting the child means punishing the child, subjecting the child to severe pain. That will cause the child to, um, you know, change from whatever he or she was doing. But you see, that causes vengefulness. And it causes the child to try to retaliate in a certain way that you would never expect. So in here, our prefect will talk to them a lot on how to deal with the student related issues. When you are going wrong, we have a way of dealing with you. We have a way of talking to you, meeting, meeting the disciplinary committee. If it's counseling you need, we are directing you to the counselor. If it is punishment you need, that is at its peak. And even the punishment is not meted out by the perfect. We take it to the appropriate quarters and it's done. Perfect, though we are allowed to do the punishment, but we do it in a certain holistic manner. Okay, it's not just direct punishment. It's punishment in a whole different form. Psychological. Yeah, psychological. <laughs> I love this book. I am meeting their entire student LSLC and I am I'm very tense. Even one person, look at the way she's handling me. Woo, Hello. So now you see them, right? These are the much elevated, prestigious perfects of a handsome and girls. Initially, I told you that, you see, once you see a perfect, you see a perfect, right? Yeah. And it's evident. Look at them. Um, can I have my protocol perfect? Okay, she's in the presence of Esther and Anais. She's the protocol prefect. Protocol perfect. And her deputies, um, Stacy Crenel. Yeah. And we also have the grounds perfect. Lady Elsie Selwa Yebwa. We have also the main grounds perfect. The main grounds perfect, Lady Benedict Aramo. And then we have the life of the school. The life of the school. Yeah, what the is person that? who brings the action, you know, the entertainment profession. Oh, I see. You 
No, she's properly addressed by Baroni. So you call it the life of the school? Yeah. Just entertainment over here? Yeah, she brings in the activity. You know, uh, everything is... In a handsome girls, we believe academic first. And a handsome girls is the school that can boast of the fact that we once went for a program, okay? And we were having a step up, just a step up. A step up is like a normal class test. And because of how academically oriented we were, everybody took a textbook and we were learning whilst we had the program. Really? Everybody was like, hey, 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 hey. And we we're like, yes, we are the lights on the hill, academics first before anything. So when it comes to activities, everything is centered on her. She's probably called Baroni. Baroni. Yes, but her real name is Lady Priscilla Hayford. See. Please, okay. please go and follow her on IG. Yeah. She's doing amazing here. Okay, can I have the prep perfect? Prep. Yeah, she's also the president of the NSMQ team. President, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And also we have the maintenance perfect. Lady what, what Abba. What does she do? The maintenance. Okay, so she checks. Yeah, I told you, in you know, girls, we don't need teachers, we don't need administrators, uh, nothing. She checks that all the connections, uh, electricity, Veronica buckets, tents, everything. She checks it every, For single real? Thing, every single thing. So she is the one who takes the report administration. Nobody does that. She's in charge of everything. You see, we are in control. In our badge of perfect shape, we are in control of everything. No teacher has to, you know, stress him or herself to come around to come and see the things that are done. Everything is controlled by the students. Our headmistress is a type that believes in teamwork, and then she believes in the fact that um, young, the young, have the ability to do and control things in a way better way than expected. So she leaves everything in her hands and performs to the best of her capabilities. Yeah, that's a handsome and boss for me. I don't know what to say. Who again? Yeah, so we have our sports prefects. Can you give us? You see, Hattiman Girls is the only school that a student with just one run and the scholarship, a full time scholarship. And she isn't even in her university yet, she's in final year. And then because of just one action, pow. And then the fact that she was from a Hattiman Girls alone elevated and took her to that level. So everything in Hattiman, it's unique, it's perfect. Yeah. Well, but but listen, there are schools like Archbishop Porter, there are the Fantiman, is it Fantiman girls, uh, the Wesley girls and all those. What about that? You see, initially when you came, I told you that I believe there are only two schools in this world, a Hantaman girls and the rest. So. So you also believe that? Yes! <laughs> so if you have mentioned other schools, the other schools that do this, the other schools that do that, we focus on ourselves most importantly. We first of all like to look at ourselves, look at our weaknesses, our strength, improve upon ourselves, make sure that we are second to none. And we, because we have that kind of mindset, wherever we go, our light shines. It's automatic, it's conk. You see, we are just the word closest to perfect. The word closest a to perfect. Girls. A hunterman girls. And you see, we can both of the most fashionable people. Our second deputy head girl is like the most fashionable on campus. Lydia, that's my second deputy head girl. Amazing. Yeah. See, we we are only school. We have the privilege that every Saturday we can wear what we want just to feel free. Look at her cake. Look at the shadow. Look at the shirt. Look at everything. <laughs> you see, we are, we are, we've been wow. our spirit is you know, release and we have been made so free that we can discover our full potentials. And I think that that is what most schools should learn. Rather than the strict, um, I don't know, Victorian Hold on. style. Every, all these things you're saying, uh, the way she's bringing you up, is it a new stuff GES has introduced or it is no, no, uh, no. innovation? It's and innovation. She believes in adding value to things. So if GES has brought rules to shape the life of students and she's ahead of our institution, she also has the authority to add something extra to put the icing on the cake and sugar it more. That's See? exactly what she's doing. Yes, that's exactly what she's doing. And she's perfect. I believe my head and is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Gosh, can I tell you a little secret, a little bit mysterious, something like that? You about your school? About my school. Please do. Are you all the yes? Yes. Are you got to listen? Yes. Is this something that will blow my mind? Like Something that will, in fact, like a dynamite exploding, exploding in your air, in your head, something like that. Okay, so a handsome girls can brag, and it's out there. It's an established fact that handsome girls produces the best wives. Best what? Wives, right, girls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> handsome girls are certain.
certified marriage materials. Yeah. 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 Are you, are you making this thing up? <laughs> no, we are not making it up. We don't make anything up here. I'll call value. I'll call value. I'll call value. <laughs> Guys. Okay, so how's perfect? Can you show yourselves? Can you get up for us to see you? You're so, so hard working. Our dormitories are sparkling clean because of them. Yeah. Okay, our chaplain perfect, the spiritual backbones of the school. Hello, can you stand up? Let us see you. Yeah. All right. And is there anyone left? Yes, the dispensary perfect. Where are you? Oh, I have a, Yes, and then the main dish. The main dish comes from them, the dining hall perfect. Can we have a wave? <laughs> All right. Amazing. Yeah. You see, listen, one, 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 oh, dining is over. I would have shown you our food. Oh. Uh, you don't eat junk. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are the only school in Ghana that can brag of eating assorted jollof rice. Oh yes. 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 With sausage on the side and chicken on the side. Oh. <laughs> I don't know which school you belong, but. <laughs> <laughs> I like this school already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you see, I had mistress every single, at the end of every single year, academic year, our head mistress organizes a feast for teachers and students, especially. And in that feast, a whole cow is killed for us. And we enjoy ourselves to the fullest. I'm telling you, handsome and girls, is the best. Yes. We are the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you said something about that your school produces the best wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any school you guys like, you know, like you admire like that? Uh, in admire in what sense? As in their campuses or their infrastructure, the student body, you have to specify. Because at Hanselman Girls, we are free. And then we like to mingle with everybody that we see. Yeah. Though we respect ourselves a lot, but we also give them room to socialize. So we are free with every single school in Ghana, every single boys' school, every single girls' school. But if you want to be specific, then I'll allow you. <laughs> so are you talking about your campuses, your student body? What are you talking about? I want you to be specific so that we know where we are going. <laughs> See, let me go straight to the point. Okay. I have heard the rumor that you girls have a serious connection, like bonding, serious bonding with, with, with who? With GSTS. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. Please calm down a bit, okay? I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, we, are, we are speaking the gospel truth here, okay? I don't know what you're thinking right now, okay? And I don't know the perception created out there, but if something nasty, then mm -mm, out. We are principled girls. And you see, the fact that we usually invite them, we usually um, do things with them in terms of academics and then drama. And then most importantly, when they are having programs, they invite us, we are having programs, we invite them. Doesn't mean that there's one special kind of connection or selection among that we have tried to establish. No, there's nothing like that. They are a good school too. And then we appreciate that, but we are also the best. And then we like to mingle with the best too. Also, and in fact, our religious affiliations, you see, they are kind of Methodist. We are also kind of Methodist, so there's a kind of connection there like that. Apart from that, nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing like, oh, this is our boys' school, this is our this thing. This, there's nothing like that. So that perception, please, it should be cleared. Right, girls? Yeah! Yeah! Guys, this conversation is over me. I don't know if you have anything. If you desire to continue this, please put it in the comment box. For me, no way. I'm done. So gosh, mm -hmm. this is like the basic thing about handsome and girls. Basic. Basic. Just basic. <laughs> and there is a lot, a lot of hidden treasures that I can unveil. But time won't permit us. So at this juncture, I would like you to meet our honourable headmistress, whom we've spoken so much about okay, right now. 
The headmistress? Yeah. Please. She's like up there. Yeah. Please take me there. Right now. <laughs> Madam, please, this afternoon, I would like to introduce to you Gosh from High Schools Africa. Okay, okay. Yes. And he's been here since morning. And oh, okay. he's been touring around the school and then we've been telling him a lot. And then I would like you to meet him. Oh, okay. We're actually expecting the team around, okay. so let him in. Gosh! Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. You. Please have a seat. Thank you, madam. I, I, I am so amazed about the conversation we've had today. I personally want to congratulate you for knowledge and confidence you've inculcated in the girls. They are so mm -hmm. amazing. It's so amazing. I just want to say thank you. I don't know how you go about inculcating that into them, but if it is something that could be taught to other schools, maybe head teachers and headmistresses, if you can come out for a conference like that and then yeah. teach that to them so that we can have really students that has much confidence like that in the country. That would be so amazing. I'm so grateful. Thanks for the compliment and complimenting my students. How I did it um, is a collaborative effort, you know, with my assistant, with the staff, the community as a whole. We've all done what we have to do to bring these girls to where they are for you to compliment. Wow. But in actual fact, and my success now, as you're talking about, stems from my predecessor. She's done so well. It's her hard work and it's her feet that I'm sitting on that today are being complimented and it's even affecting our students. Wow. Yeah, so we are grateful. Wow. And then um, we have been given a charge and we are keeping it to make these girls who they have to be in the society. And I think that high school. Africa, sure. yeah, we are also grateful to you. We met recently at Portes for sure. workshop. Yes, and we are very grateful for the work you are doing, Thank you promoting for schools across the nation. And today you are here with us, and then um, I know that um, what you are doing will have a positive effect on every school you visit. Sure. Thank you so much Thank for you, your time and for the uh, resources you are spending sure. on the work you are doing. Thank you, Madam. You're welcome. Old students. Old students. And I, I must confess that they are doing so well. They are coming up, but looking at the short time within which they are trying to get together, it's amazing. They are doing so well, and they are getting connected wherever they are across the globe. The government is doing its bit, giving us some blocks, and the science lab, skill center, 14 classroom block. And even a new kitchen complex. Wow. They are ongoing at the moment by the government. But we are asking the uh, stakeholder, the major stakeholder, that is the old student, the old student. Yeah, to come. In fact, I know they are preparing seriously to come in. Then we are promising them that uh, when they sacrifice, once they sow into the school, we aren't going to just be like that. We're going to go higher and higher, project the name of the school, wherever they are. When they hear the name of their school, I'm sure they will be excited and they'll be happy and they will really be uh, satisfied that they came to help sure. because it will yield fruits. The light on the hill. Yes, Amazing. this is the light on the hill. Now your royal, her royal mm -hmm. majesty. majesty. <laughs> you have a lot of old students watching you. What would you have to say to them? Any organization that is interested in building girl child education, please, the first point of call should be in the hands of girls. Because I see. we are the school, <laughs> we are the school that I believe will produce potential ministers and even the first female president of our country. Yes. Amazing. Gosh, Adam. I want the whole of Africa, Ghana, and the world to understand that mm -hmm. if any BEC candidates wants a school, a senior high school, to attend, the best place is the Hanteman Girls. And if there is any NGO around who is thinking about development of girl child education and senior high schools around Africa and the globe as well. Hatterman Girls should be the number one destination because we are indeed a light on the hill. Amazing. Ladies, Agis, our right. Agis, the light on the hill. Agis, the royals. Give it to them. Bye. My name is Gorgeous. Welcome to the channel High Schools Africa. You may not know the interesting things that are happening in our high schools until we take time to visit 
and explore things that are happening in there if you are interested in what is going to happen here please do hit the subscribe button and let's keep exploring our schools and promote african schools together